Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, in answering two questions on this video that are very common once again. Uh, the one about should I, do I have to back up my files and will I have to erase everything to install Windows 10? And also a uh, second question which is can I do a clean install of Windows 10? Will I have something to do a clean install with on Windows 10. So the first question is uh, basically when you upgrade your Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 with Service Pack 1 to Windows 10 you'll be asked two questions uh, regarding the type of update you want to do. One will be, do you want to keep all of your files and programs and upgrade to Windows 10? Or do you want to erase everything and go on to Windows 10? Basically, if you choose keep files and folders and everything, you should upgrade to Windows 10 and you will have everything there. So your different documents, pictures, music, will still be there but still you know I still don't understand why people still ask if they should back up their stuff because that means if you want or need to back up your stuff it's not backed up and if it's not backed up it means that if something ever happens to your hard drive crashing for example well you lose everything and that is not wise so it's not even a question you should ask because you should have a backup of your stuff. And the reason why people don't back up is because either it costs money because you have to buy an external drive or in a lot of cases it simply is because it is time consuming. You have to do something to back up and it's long and people don't want to do it. So uh, you know what? In a Windows update from Windows 7 to, to Windows 10 or Windows 8 to Windows 10, even though the majority of you guys and girls will upgrade fine, one thing you need to know is that there are some people out there that things are going to go wrong and they're going to lose the stuff you have. It is part of upgrading to another operating system. The possibility that something goes wrong is always there. So, for that reason, I will say yes, you need to back up your stuff. If you don't back up and go to Windows 10, uh, I think you're taking a risk here. You're taking a chance of, you know, probably things will go right. And for a lot, like I said, for probably the majority of people, everything will be okay. But still, you should back up your stuff. As for the clean install possibility, well, first of all, um, as I was answering the first question, I told you there's a update path that will ask you if you want to erase everything. This will technically be a clean install from your existing operating system to Windows 10. So it is sort of a clean install. But I also understand the term clean install uh, in a different way because I do a clean install. For example, this build of Windows 10 was clean installed from a thumb drive. And that's probably more the type of clean install that people are talking about. We know that for now, what you'll have to do is update your operating system to Windows 10. So Windows 7 Service Pack 1 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 before you can do a real clean install because after you do that um, in the update and recovery part of your computer when you go into all settings in the update and security you will have the possibility to re do a recovery uh, drive or thumb drive of your operating system. So you'll have what you need to do basically a real clean install uh, format your drive and just reinstall completely. 
but we also know that Microsoft will give image files of Windows 10. But in order to use them, you'll have to do the first step, which is to upgrade from your existing system to Windows 10. And the reason why you have to do that is because that's how your Windows 10 will be linked to your computer and that they'll know that that computer has a free copy of Windows 10 and that's how Microsoft will also know in the future when you want to reinstall that you have a free copy that is okay to install on your computer. So that's basically how it's going to be done. Um, for now there's no talk about having a image file immediately available that you can just do a clean install with which for a, a guy for example a tech guy like me would be the best thing because I'd rather have that option than go from Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 but I have no choice for now that's pretty much what they say we need to do so uh, first step upgrade your operating system to Windows 10 but after that you'll have all the possibilities of doing clean installs and actually I'll be um, you know posting videos of how to create the clean install how to download the images and how to do a clean install uh, afterwards so all of that will be available in my videos so um, that's pretty much how it's going to be done if you enjoy our videos why not subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online if any comments questions about what you have seen let us know and hopefully you will come back to our videos. Bye-bye.